Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Foreign Correspondence Club of Japan. My name is Fred Varko, a member of the Professional Activities Committee. Uh, we're very pleased today to have two people to talk about the Rugby World Cup in Japan and the 2023 Rugby World Cup in France. Uh, before we start, can I ask everybody to turn off their mobile phones or set them to stun? Uh, to my immediate right is Takuro Miyuchi, Mi 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 uh, former Japan captain, who had a total of 48 caps, now working with uh, Hino, 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 sorry, Hino Mota, uh, Hino Red Dolphins rugby team. Um, and to his right is Frederic Michelac from France. Uh, who earned 77, 77 caps for France and played for Lyon, Toulouse, and one more? Toulon and Sharks. Toulon and? Sharks. Sharks. Mutsan uh, and uh, Michel Aksan actually played together, played against each other in the 2003 World Cup, which I assume Japan won. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> And at the far end is our interpreter for today, Yuji Ito. Thank you. Um, our two guests will talk very briefly for a few minutes, and then it'll be down to questions and answers. So please prepare your questions. So first up, please, Miyuki-san, please say a few words. えっと、日本のトップリーグのチームでコーチやっています。えっと、私自身、え、2003年、2007年、え、ワールドカップでプレーさせていただいて、ま、特に2007年はフランスでえ、ワールドカップを戦いました。Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I, I'm going to be the inter interpreter. Uh, however, I'm not a professional. Uh, I was just asked by volunteer. So uh, please allow me if uh, there is any inconvenience. Uh, just because I, well, you know, uh, I was asked to to do so. Uh, so um, so um, I'm going to start. Um, uh, so Mute San uh, is actually uh, coaching the. Uh, uh, Red Dolphins uh, of Hinomoto, uh, and actually he played uh, on the World Cup in 2007 and 2003. Uh, France, yes. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and playing in France, in, uh, well, uh, playing in, uh, as, a, as a player in 2007 in France. え、やはりこう今年ワールドカップ and uh, the most uh, one of my good memories, uh, you know, uh, that I did play in 2007 in France, and I do remember that uh, at that time, you know, uh, we did have a very uh, warm welcome uh, from the France uh, and the France team. Uh, so uh, accordingly, uh, this year, as uh, Japan is going to uh, organize the uh, World Cup uh, here. Uh, we would like to uh, welcome uh, not only the French team, but also uh, for the other team uh, who are, are coming. また 2020年には日本でオリンピックありますけれども約 uh, as we're going to have also Olympic uh, next year, 
uh, and uh, after that uh, we're going to have uh, Olympic in uh, uh, 2024 in, in, in France, in Paris, uh, as well as the uh, world next uh, Rugby World Cup will be uh, in, uh, uh, in France in 2023. Uh, so uh, as someone who is, uh, who is doing, uh, I mean, related to sports, it will be a very good opportunity for us to, uh, to have a tighter uh, relationship uh, with the uh, France uh, sport uh, associate people. Uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, within the sports, we would like to, uh, uh, to build uh, this uh, very good uh, relationship. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Mishi Sam. Next is uh, Frederic Michelac. Frederic, on, uh, please, s'il vous plaît. Uh, bonjour, hello, hi. Um, uh, thank you for your welcoming. I try to do in English, but if I'm struggled, I, I do in, France, in French, and you can translate, okay. Um, my job actually is to be a special advisor for Lou Rugby. Lou Rugby is a club in top 14 I play uh, uh, in France. Um, I'm also an ambassador 2023 for the World Cup uh, in France and uh, working uh, in a few uh, business and uh, running in a few business. One is coming in September with um, um, an événement sur le sport et l'innovation uh, qui aura pour but de rassembler l'ensemble des uh, acteurs du sport et de nouvelles technologies uh, sur un événement à Lyon. Uh, sorry, so the, uh, you're going to have an event in September, right? Yeah. Uh, and this, uh, and can, can you say that again about the event? It's an event, Sport Unlimited, that yeah. rassembles the whole of the technologies and the uh, uh, federations, the clubs, on an event. Uh, autour du sport. Autour du sport, donc, ouais. euh, c'est y compris rugby. Euh, tous les sports. Tous les sports. Ouais. Okay. Uh, et donc, ça sera une exposition. Oui. Uh, so, uh, this event uh, include uh, many uh, sport related uh, companies, uh, and uh, we are going to have, uh, uh, you know, all together uh, in September. In which? Uh, la place. Pardon. La location. Uh, à Lyon. À Lyon. Uh, at Lyon uh, in France, uh, and uh, on sait pas <laughs> sorry. Uh, so uh, we have many, many, uh, you know, uh, sports-related uh, companies uh, in Lyon this September. I'm going to manage uh, this event. Yeah, I'm also um, um, helping in a, in a rugby sevens in a, in France and especially in Monaco to create an academy of sevens, sevens academy, rugby and uh, a professional rugby club uh, for the next uh, uh, French Pro Championship, sevens. And uh, I'm happy to be here for four days with a sports minister and to, uh, to talk about the next Olympics uh, in Japan and also the next World Cup in Japan. So uh, thank you for that. Okay, thank you very much, Frédéric. Uh, we'll go straight to questions and answers. So I hope you have plenty of questions available and topics are open, obviously. World Cup 2019, World Cup 2023, Olympics 2020, Olympics 2024, and the state of the game in Japan, France, and the rest of the world. So first up, has to be Rick Freeman. Thank you very much. Uh, please go to the mic and state your name and your affiliation. Uh, Rich Freeman, Kyoto News. Um, there's been a lot of talk this week in World Rugby that they're going to create a League of Nations whereby every year outside of the World Cup year, the top 12 teams will play off one another to create a world championship. Do you think that this will take away some of the, the glory of the World Cup? Because at the moment, the World Cup is such a special event. It is the only time some of countries play one another. South Africa, Japan, for example, first time they've ever played one another. 
by having a regular competition every year outside the World Cup, will that take away some of the importance? Uh, Mewchi, do you want translation or did you understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yeah, Mewchi, I understand. I read the article and I just want to mention that the players' year-long competition in the year これをこうどううまくしていかなきゃいけないのかな、そこをうまくマネージしなきゃいけないのかなって一つ問題あります。それとえっ、ー、と特に日本では、えー、国内のシーズンが、えー、それによって短くなる。ほとんどの選手はこうプレー試合を経験するタイミングがなくなるのかな、その二つを僕は懸念しています。ただ、えー、日本の選手、特にトップ選手にとってそういう経験というのは非常に重要なのではないのかなっていうふうに感じています。Okay, so um, I, I read this,、uh, this also, and、uh, I do have、uh, two points、uh, to, to wonder.、Uh, one is, is the number of,、uh, of the uh, uh, match uh, you are uh, doing uh, during the year. Uh, and, uh, In order, uh, and also,、uh, the second point is uh, uh, related to the domestic uh, league, uh, domestic uh, you know, timetable,、uh, in order to adjust uh, you know, uh, the timetable to、uh, you know, the event uh, is uh, a little bit tricky. But, but of course, the、uh, experience、uh, you're going to have、uh, you know,、uh, competing with other、uh, teams is, is, is a very good experience for、uh, the players.、Uh, Frederick, you have something to say? Yeah, I think it's more what, what World Rugby wants to create is、uh, more opportunity to、uh, develop the international rugby. And、uh, you can see、uh, now Japan's it's one team in Super Rugby, and you can see the Japanese are much better and, and、uh, progress much more. That's, I think that's a great opportunity. Opportunity, sorry, for the, for the Japanese players. And、uh, our problem in France, it's、uh, our championship, the calendar is very long, and、uh, it's a six nation between, and the players play six nation, and also in the same time, we got、uh, top 14、uh, games, so it, it's quite hectic, and、uh, the players are getting tired and, and can't progress more. so Uh, if we can go in the new countries and develop the rugby more and,、uh, and see more games against the French team and against Japanese or any team, that's, that's much better for the world rugby. Okay, thank you.、Uh, next question. Okay, it'll be me.、Um, uh, Frederick, we talked、uh, a little earlier about. Uh, technology,、uh, and you're ob obviously involved in technology and rugby.、Uh, and I, I'm mainly a soccer writer more than a rugby writer. And there's a lot of debate about introducing technology into soccer. And we talked about hybrid pitches as well. How do you see technology developing in sport in general, but also in rugby in particular? And is rugby ahead of the game in terms of sports? I see. I think we. we、um Uh, in rugby and other sports now is more technology, but technology is about the recovery, the you know, medical recovery, try to,、uh, to recover quicker and、uh, to have more data around the, the performance of, of the sports. So it's a, it's a lot of,、um, of future in,、uh, uh, in this, and uh, the France、uh, states try to.、Uh, To, uh, to get more startup and more、uh, involved in,、uh, in the new technology for, for win more trophies. So that's, that's a big question. And now it's, it's,、uh, it's the next step for, 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 be,、um, um, for perform at the high level. Thank you. Any questions from the floor? 
Maybe you need to translate in Japanese, no? Uh, no, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> Rich doesn't speak Japanese. <laughs> okay, it'll be from me again. Uh, Miyuki san, um, Japan obviously uh, had a great win over South Africa uh, many years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> But obviously, things have changed a little. Obviously, the coach has changed. And uh, has Japan, how has Japan developed since that win? And how do you see their prospects in this year's World Cup? Uh, well, the World Cup was a very difficult to do in the last year. It was a very disappointing result. It was a very まあ、それまでにやはりエディがずっと監督をしてて非常にこうベースという部分あとは日本人のメンタリティーという部分があの大会あの試合を得て変わったのかなというのを僕自身感じてます。Uh, yes, as you all know, uh, Japan won uh, three games uh, last time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we couldn't uh, go to the uh, final round. Uh, but I think it's a very good mixture of the AD uh, you know, coaching uh, skill as well as the mentality of Japanese uh, player. それを経験した選手が軸となってここ三年、あとまあ新しいコーチジェイミージョセフ。が今やってますけども、まあそういう中でこう選手自身が考えてこう戦術であったり戦略を練るようなチームになってきたのかなって、選手主導のチームに今まではエディの時はコーチ主導だったんですけど、それから選手主導のチームに変わってきたのかなというふうにこう三年間見て感じます。Uh, as I saw the last uh, three years, I think that uh, now the Japanese uh, you know, uh, uh, national team member uh, is becoming much more autonomous and they do uh, think uh, by themselves about the tactics and the strategy as compared with uh, the uh, elder generation which was rather led by, uh, by, uh, by AD. <laughs> えー、ここ2年間、3年間でも、えー、テストマッチもいい結果が出てますし、まあ、準備としては非常に素晴らしい位置にいるのかなというふうに感じてます、ただやはりこうエディの時にやってたような、もっとベースをこの9ヶ月間で、9ヶ月もないですね、7ヶ月間でワールドカップまでにこうベースをもっと強くして臨みたいと、私自身は望む必要があるのではないかなというふうに感じてます。ベースっていうのはこれ具体的にどういう、えー、特にまあ体力ですね、フィットネスであったり、はい、はい、メンタルだったり、まあメンバーも変わってますし、はい。Um, uh, we did have many, uh, you know, test matches, uh, which is uh, which are uh, very good experience for for players. Uh, but for uh, the seven months ahead, uh, we do need to, uh, you know. Um, Uh, to practice uh, a lot in terms of uh, uh, physical uh, strength as well as uh, mentality. So, in the case of 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 the まあ、プール戦の中でスコットランド、アイルランド非常に強敵がいますけどこの7か月間でどんだけこうチームを強くするかによってその勝敗が見えてくるのではないかなと感じています。Uh, as we're going to have uh, uh, the World Cup uh, here in Japan uh, in September, uh, October, which is still hot uh, and humid, uh, so I think the Japanese players had the uh, advantage uh, for that. Uh, but for the uh, remaining uh, seven months, uh, I look forward that the, uh, the team uh, is going to, uh, to be really ready uh, for the World Cup game. Thank you. Uh, Frederick, you, you played against Japan in 2003, and it was a, a fairly close game, 51 to 29. Um, what was your impression of the Japanese team then, and what do you think they can do this year? Yeah, Japanese team uh, progressed a lot, and uh, we could see uh, last year they They did 17-17 uh, against France in France, so we we can see now the gap between uh, 2003 and and now the the, the Japanese 
Japanese rugby progress a lot, and uh, they they got a rugby with a lot of skills, a lot of techniques, and uh, uh, the players are not so physically like uh, bodybuilding, but they they physically on on the field they can run everywhere they can. They can they, they, they create a, a good rugby now. is is nice to watch, and uh, even if the score is bad for them, they're still playing a lot. And uh, I think they will they will do a good World Cup, and uh, I'm sure they can they can pass the the first uh, round to be qualified for quarter of final. Thank you. Any questions from the floor, Rich? Yeah, Freddie, you were talking about an academy. Obviously, you're helping to develop young kids. Muji san I know you're involved with Kikutani and Onazawa developing young kids with coaching clinics. What do you both hope that the World Cups can bring to your respective countries? What legacy will having a World Cup in Japan bring, Muji san and, and Freddie, what legacy will it have in, in France? Muji san first. <laughs> ま、uh, myself, I do coach uh, the uh, uh, kids uh, at uh, uh, Red uh, Dolphins, uh, and uh, um, you know, having uh, have the uh, real World Cup uh, game here in Japan, I uh, would hope uh, that uh, kids uh, uh, enjoy. Uh, the real rugby uh, and uh, uh, feel uh, you know very close uh, the real uh, play. え、ま、でもそれ以上に一番大事なのは あ、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Lady over there, please. I want to thank um, France and Japan for promoting my country's national sport. I'm a Welsh woman. Um, I grew up in a Welsh family, and I watched my brothers from the age of eight play rugby with passion. And it was the national school system that provided that vital support that you are both talking about and your question addressed. The passion began that young. Do you think there's any scope for the Japanese national education system taking on rugby? And, and, and I don't, I'm not, I'm sorry, I don't know if the French national system does it. I am aware of how great your teams are. And I'm hoping that Wales will put you in your place. But, you know, <laughs> do you think there's any scope for, for national education with rugby? Thank you. あの、ま、ま、取り入れてくれる地域も含めてここ数年でかなり増えてきてると聞いてますし、ま、実際トップリーグの選手やったり、え、日本代表の選手がそれぞれ小学校、中学校に行ってタグラグビーを一緒にやっているという形も、
Okay, Frederick, you want to uh, talk about the legacy or schools development, I think it was, right? Uh, oui, c'est... Je pense que c'est vraiment important de parler de ça puisque nous sommes en déplacement avec la ministre des Sports au Japon et je crois que c'est c'est le principe même de, de, de notre éducation. Malheureusement, aujourd'hui, on n'a on a pas assez de sport dans nos écoles et si on compare avec d'autres pays, ce n'est pas encore rentré dans le système éducatif. Le sport n'est pas encore rentré dans le système éducatif. Et c'est un gros manquement euh, aujourd'hui en France, en tout cas, je trouve. Ah oui, Alors en France C'est pas, pas suffisant. On fait ouais. du sport, mais ce n'est ouais. pas dans l'éducation. Ah, euh, on fait euh, une heure de sport ah. ou deux par semaine. Ah, d'accord. Uh, so, in fact, I, I think it's not uh, enough uh, within the French education uh, system. Uh, I hope that, uh, you know, the French uh, Minister of Education will, uh, you know, uh, uh, will associate uh, with much uh, uh, to have more uh, not only uh, time, but also uh, the content of, of the sports, uh, and uh, that will be, uh, you know, sort of a potential and also homework for us. Yeah, I talk about every sport. It's not just rugby, and uh, this is a big responsibility for the Minister of Sports, who is now in in Japan with us, and uh, to put in uh, education uh, more sports. And uh, we try to to develop more the rugby, but if he can if he can come from the school, that's that would be much better. Okay, questions from the floor. Let's see Richard's turn again. Okay. Um, I've heard a rumor that rugby fans and even some players enjoy a beer after the game. Um, in previous World Cups, often host nations, the, the rugby clubs in New Zealand, in France, would be able to accommodate large groups of fans. Um, that's not really going to be possible in Japan because rugby clubs don't have their own clubhouses. So I was just wondering if Muchi-san had any recommendations for Freddie about how best to enjoy the sort of after rugby atmosphere. <sighs> まあ、日本にはこう、サントリーがあったり、朝日があったり、お酒のカンパニーたくさんありますけども、え、まあ、例えば僕の話になりますけども、え、今年去年ですかね、ちょうど1年前フランスに設置場ラグビーの大会があって
stadium at uh, which uh, the game will be uh, will be happen. Uh, you know, around uh, the stadium for uh, pub and restaurant will uh, welcome uh, you know supporters from over all over the world. And also, I uh, uh, I hope that uh, among supporters. Uh, uh, from other countries and uh, with Japanese supporters to to have uh, you know good relation uh, and to build a relation. えっと、ま、偶然にもえ、ちょっとワールドカップの <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't get ticket for the game, so I do need to, uh, you know, to uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, close to the stadium and uh, and to support <laughs> with, with with beer. Sorry, uh, Frederick. Do they drink alcohol in France? I've forgotten. Uh, uh, what, what, uh, do you have any uh, plans, or do, uh, does the Rugby World Cup organizers have any special plans for 2023? Yes, uh, we we organize a big event in, in France, and the stadium are all new. And um, I'm I'm lucky because in Lyon I work with a big company, uh, GL Events. We work in uh, events and and um, run the the club of Le Rugby, and they develop a economic model around the consumer uh, because we can see. Uh, uh, in France, I continue in French. Uh, depuis 2013, uh, la billetterie, donc les billets vendus, les tickets, uh, les abonnements et les ventes de marchandises sont passés de 25% à 17%. De, de croissance. De, de croissance. De, de 25 à 17%. Donc, le, le, GL Events a, en tout cas, je pense, trouver la bonne formule, c'est de faire que le ticket soit abordable pour l'achat et développer la consommation dans les stades par des restaurants, par du merchandising, par du, euh, des salons de beauté, de coiffure. Donc, ce qui permet de, aux, aux spectateurs de, de consommer sur place et d'augmenter ses revenus. C'est-à-dire la croissance est de 25 à 17% donc ça ça baisse un peu sur sur la sur la billetterie les abonnements oui billetterie abonnements et, et donc 25% ah, 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 on réussit à, à avoir une croissance économique grâce aux revenus liés hors les tickets. Mais, mais en fait, ça a baissé de 25 à 17. Oui. Ça, oui. Le rugby français depuis 2013. Depuis 2013. Uh, so, in fact, from uh, 2013, uh, uh, you know, the, sold, the number of sold tickets has been uh, rather, uh, you know, decreasing. And uh, I think that uh, we do need to uh, increase the channel uh, of, uh, you know, uh, of available, uh, you know, ticket uh, for the games. And uh, for instance, for, you know, a restaurant or even, uh, you know, hair salon or, you know, this kind of uh, uh, channel which hasn't been uh, existed. Yes, yeah, so the TV rights grow up in France. A lot of sponsors are around rugby and uh, the, the people are less in the stadium because of the TV right and it's more rugby on the TV. So we try to develop more the economic system around the rugby. You know, like it's not just about watch a rugby game. It's, it's more uh, come with your family and and uh, and enjoy yourself in the stadium. And now all, all our stadium are available for that. Is a, a 5G connectivity, and uh, you can you can stay all day there and uh, enjoy yourself. Okay, thank you, Albert.
Hello, I'm Albert Siegel, freelance. So, I mean, obviously France and uh, Japan are vastly different cultures, and yet uh, rugby is uh, quite a uniting factor. It is for many countries. So, I'm just uh, wondering, in your view, your opinion, um, what, how, you know, what would you think of this? Like, uh, how do you think rugby unites um, these vastly different cultures? Frederic, you want to take that? Yeah, it's it's too diff Yeah, it's completely different. The culture are different, but it's the same. The same sports, and uh, I think the the a little bit the same public. Uh, what we try to do is to 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 have a um, translator everywhere, and to 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 make uh, the the tourism in the best uh, position for. Uh, buy your tickets and travel and uh, hotel and try to have all the toutes les formules en, en une grâce à une application qui va être développée. Désolé, sorry, <laughs> I didn't understand your question. Um, oui, je vais faire en français. Donc, euh, la, la, la culture euh, française et japonaise est complètement différente, mais, mais à partir du moment où on parle rugby, je crois qu'on est tous des rugbymen au fond de nous. Et euh, on, est, euh, on a envie de, 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 de découvrir à la fois le, le pays, mais aussi euh, rencontrer les gens et partager des émotions. Et le rugby permet de, de, de créer et de, et de faire en sorte que les gens partagent ces émotions. Um, yeah, the uh, uh, the culture between uh, you know France and, and Japan is is quite different. Uh, but uh, you know uh, throughout the game and also uh, visiting uh, each other, uh, we can share uh, you know emotional. Uh, you know, feeling uh, each other, uh, and also uh, you know, experience uh, you know other uh, culture at the same time. Yuki san, you want to? えっと、um, actually, the, uh, the system uh, in each country are quite different. Uh, for instance, in Japan, uh, the uh, companies are uh, managing uh, each team as compared with in, in France, uh, I don't the company, but well, the companies are sponsoring uh, and uh, not really directly uh, managing. いる形ですね。で、逆に言うとフランスはもうクラブチームとしてまクラブが抱えているもう本当にプロフェッショナルな選手。まそもそもそういうバックグラウンドが違う国ですけど、まその中でも日本は多分特殊だと思います。uh, I think Japan is a little bit uh, uh, you know uh, special uh, well, I don't know if the peculiar word is 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 uh, is good for that, but uh, uh, still the uh, players are uh, at the same time working uh, and also are playing. Uh, we do have uh, some uh, who are professional players, uh, but uh, in most of the case, it's uh, you know uh, it's uh, working in a company and uh, and playing uh, as compared to this in France. Uh, all are professionals uh, for, for the team. Uh, 
、まあ、お互いこう文化であったりバックグラウンドは違うんですけども実際グラウンドでプレーすることは変わりはないので逆に言うとそういう交流を通じて、まあ、お互いのいい部分であったりお互いを理解し合うっていうのが非常に大事なのかなと思います。Uh, but although、uh, the background and the structure system are different,、uh, I think that、uh, throughout uh, you know, uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, relation,、uh, we, can, uh, uh, you know, for, uh, we can build uh, you know, the, uh, a good relation going forward. Okay, this leads on to a slightly more delicate question about the, the preparation for the teams、uh, for the World Cup, particularly Japan, which seems to have cancelled all rugby until the World Cup.、Um, ha, Miyuki-san, how do you feel about the,、uh, the decision not to play so much rugby ahead of the World Cup? So they, they've, they've, recently they, they've, they've cancelled the club teams, right? Top League's put on hold for a calendar year.、Oh. Yeah. There is no Top League rugby this year in the building. It seems like a strange way to prepare for a,、uh, for a big World Cup.、Uh, um, no, if you could comment on that, please. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a team of the coach. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a team. コメントをするのが非常に果たしていいのか悪いのか分かりませんがうん逆に言うと、えー、トップリーグワールドカップがあることで、えー、国内のカレンダーが変わることっていうのは仕方ないのかなっていうふうに受け入れてますけど、まあ、逆を言うとこう、まあ、ワールドカップの年だからこそこう国内でのドメスティックのリーグも試合をやって。まあ、そういうのをこうラグビーを PR するいい機会でもあるのかなっていうふうに感じてます。A、uh, very tough question、uh, for myself, who is doing a coach in, in the top league.、Uh, I do understand that uh, you know, uh, calendar uh, uh, based, uh, you know, we do make、uh, sort of priority、uh, for the World Cup. But uh, uh, on the other hand,、uh, maybe we should uh, do uh, the top league games and uh, uh, you know, making the PR about、uh, the rugby. And、uh, Frederick, how, how is the situation in, in France and Europe? I mean, you're continuing to play club games at the moment. And how, how does France prepare for its World Cup in September?、Um, France will play、uh, Saturday against Wales,、uh, Six Nations. So they will start a new campaign. And uh, uh, so it's going to be all the Six Nations for see where the team is now in.、Uh, In a world、uh, rugby situation, they will play against England, against the Wales, against、uh, Scotland, Italy.、Uh, so it's going to be tough. And、uh, after it's going to be a June preparation. And、uh, after that, we start. Uh, uh, so, yeah, our problem is, is our calendar. The player will play a lot before the, the, the World Cup. But They will be lucky because they will have、uh, two months、uh, physical and technical preparation and mental preparation before the, the World Cup. And they will be ready for that. So you're playing too much and Japan is not playing enough. Is that the answer? OK, thank you.、Uh, any more questions from the floor? Well, let's stick with France.、Um, I was actually surprised to learn that France haven't actually won the World Cup. Why is that, Frederick? <laughs> and what are their chances? Not too far, not too far.、Uh, what, are, what are their chances this year? How do you see the team doing this year? We can make a surprise, you know, like if you see a 2011 World Cup、uh, in New Zealand, we, we lost against、uh, New Zealand and Tonga.、Uh, During the first games, and we finish in final, and we lost、uh, just one point against the All Blacks. So, French team can make the surprise, and、uh, we like to, to be in the position as nobody,、uh, nobody w a i t for us. Can you remind us who's in your pool in, in the World Cup?、Uh, it's going to be Argentina, England. 
And the last one, I don't know, but I know Argentina and England. <laughs> that should be fairly easy. It's going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any more questions from the floor? Rich, have you run out? Someone else, I'll, I'll think of one. <coughs> Anybody here? Um, okay, just changing the, the topic slightly. Um, there's been a lot of um, talk in the press and in, and in the rugby world about players getting injured too often. Um, you guys have both retired. Um, how do you feel that, uh, do you, why do you think players are getting injured more often and, and what do you think the rugby authorities should do about that? Frederick? Rugby, it's a physical, it's physical, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's like if you choose to to do a boxing or you know any uh, any fight sports rugby the sports w w and uh, you fight on the field and uh, you you can injure yourself that, that's what you know but now uh, the rugby player develop more they're more physical they run faster so we will try to find the uh, the good rules for for have less injuries but you know if you play a lot of games, you got more chance to to injure yourself. So you need to to find a good uh, solution and uh, protect more the players. Okay, thank you. Uh, so it's the ma. Kega ga fuere to you know. Sakiodo ma fuere dekka itta yoni. Ma sports jitai ga shinka shite te. Yappa athlete, senshi jitai ga level ga agatte kite ru koto ni yoru koto ga ichi na tomemasu ke domo. Yatte sore to onaji yoni ko. え、それをケアするメディカルの方の進化っていうんですかね。そこがやはりこうラグビーというスポーツに介入してきていることもやっぱり一つの要因なのかなと思います。あ、as uh, uh, Frederick mentioned, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the level of uh, the athlete uh, is uh, is improving and uh, so uh, as a result the injury uh, is becoming a big headache. Uh, but I think on the uh, medical scene, uh, there is also uh, a lot of progress, which is which is uh, which is happening. Kanerano,えっと介入によってやはりこう選手が守られてきているのをすごいこう何年かで感じます。逆を言うと僕らま昔プレーした頃はまそういうのはなかったのでもっとこう怪我という意味ではま守られてなかったのかなというふうに思います
多いです、はい、割合としても。ただやはりこう彼らのチームに対するコミットであったり、普段ラグビーに対する姿勢というのは、まあ、間違いなく他の日本人選手に対していい影響を与えるので、まあ、その数自体が非常にこう大事なのかというと、僕は逆に数は問題ではないと思います、ただ、グラウンドに立ってプレーをするという意味では、やっぱり日本人の若い選手を育成しなきゃいけないので、まあ、現在、現状では5人ですかね、15人中5人が。ピッチに立てますけども、まあ、試合の時は3人でいいのかなというふうに僕自身は感じています。OK、そう、いや、in fact、uh,、we do have、uh,、you know、foreign、uh, players who are making very good influence、uh, to Japanese、uh, top league、uh, and also、uh, for the other、uh, team as well、uh, and especially uh, uh,。You know, for education of young players,、uh, very good influence.、Uh, but in fact, to,、uh, as a personal opinion, uh, uh, actually, we do have five、uh, foreign players allowed it,、uh, in the game.、Uh, I think three is enough. Frederick? Yeah, the, the, we, I think we, we made a mistake maybe in France the last 10 years. On that, because what we're looking it was also to bring、um, a name in the club and、uh, from do merchandising and you know, like rugby business.、Uh, but we, we were not looking about how you, you can have a young player play for, for, for the team and become a professional.、Uh, now we We try to find the, the good way also and、uh, to have、uh, less players from overseas in our championship. But I think it's good also to open your doors and to open your mind. For me, it was a great experience to, to play in South Africa. And、uh, I think it would be great for Japanese championship to have a French player in a Japanese championship. If this player is an international player and can show some skills and some experience to the young players in the country, it will help for sure. Okay, thank you. Any more questions from the floor? Last chance. Okay, final question from me.、Uh, what are your expectations for the 2019 World Cup? And which team will win? Each fan? This is the most difficult question today. You can say France. Yeah. I don't think so. 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 やはりあそこで日本が参照する南アフリカに勝つなんて予想は誰もしてなかったでしょうし、はいまあ、現状のこうランキングを言うとやはりこうニュージーランドもしくはアイルランドが、うん、その位置にいるのかなというふうには感じてます。Okay, very、uh, tough question.、Uh... Yeah, France could be a, a, a very good, a, a big surprise.、Uh, as uh, last time uh, Japan won、uh, to South Africa, and it was a big surprise worldwide.、Uh, but、uh, to be realistic, uh, you know, uh, reflecting the ranking, actual ranking,、uh, one,、uh, number one is New Zealand, and the second is Ireland. <coughs> Frederick, do you want to plug England? <laughs> <laughs> I want to.、Um, I wish、uh, the best World Cup in, in Japan for, for the tourists and、uh, the, the supporters is going to be amazing. So I wish you the best and I hope a lot of French supporters will come in, in, in Japan first. And、uh, on the sports way,、uh, for me,、um, Uh, England and the Irish in the North Hemisphere can, can definitely、uh, win this World Cup. They're they doing very well, actually, the Irish. They're doing maybe too, too well before the World Cup.、Um, 
front maybe a little bit behind uh, today, but they can make the surprise. And uh, of course, in the South Hemisphere, the All Blacks still uh, still the best, and uh, definitely uh, at the at the best position for win this World Cup. Thank you. Okay, this brings uh, this press conference to an end. Before we go, as is our custom, I want to give uh, our two guests uh, honorary membership to the Foreign Correspondents Club, so they have an opportunity to buy me a beer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.